it's 4th of July, and hopefully everyone is enjoying the holiday and the extra day off work, even if you don't celebrate 4th of July. But that does not stop the content. We're going to be talking about where the Chicago Bears running back room ranks within the division. We're going to get into all that and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. I'm the host here, Hayes. You guys can follow the channel right off the top at Shy Bears Central on every social media platform that we are on. Also, Chicago Bears Central is free and available on every podcasting app of your choice. And if you're on the podcast side, we're also available on YouTube. Go and subscribe to both. Leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts if you have access to Apple Podcasts. But let's get into the content on this holiday. Like I said, the content don't stop. Real quick episode today, though, we're going to talk about where the running back room with the Chicago Bears ranks amongst the division. Keep in mind, the Chicago Bears had the number one rushing attack in the whole NFL last season. Yes, it didn't translate to very many wins with the Chicago Bears, especially considering we just did not pass the ball very often. And even when we did, we didn't really have much success in the passing game. But the running uh, game is going to still have a big part in the Chicago Bears offense, even though we're now projected to have a much better uh, passing attack than what we had last season with the acquisition of DJ Moore, adding him to Chase Claypool, Darnell Mooney, and hopefully growth from Justin Fields and Luke Getzey as offensive caller, uh, getting more involved in that pass play uh, action for the Chicago Bears. But the running back room is still going to be highly important. And you look at the running back room, that lost David Montgomery last season as he goes in the division to the Detroit Lions and how that is going to impact also the Chicago Bears. They added Dante Foreman from the Carolina Panthers in this offseason and talented rookie running back in Roshan Johnson to Khalil Herbert, who Herbert last year averaging 5.7 yards per carry. Of course, he was part of that two-headed attack with him and David Montgomery. Now, when you look at the other running back rooms in the division, with the... uh, Green Bay Packers are interdivision rival. They have Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon, and Patrick Taylor, who shape up to be a pretty formidable attack themselves, right? You do not want to overlook them, and especially as they now have, for all intents and purposes, a rookie quarterback in Jordan Love who is going into his first full season as the starter with the departure of Aaron Rodgers. You, you don't want to overlook just how important a running game is going to be to acclimating a young quarterback his first time starting, and they still don't have necessarily the best wide, uh, the wide receiver room with the Green Bay Packers. As Jordan Love looks to acclimate himself into being a starting quarterback in the NFL, that running back room that the Green Bay Packers has is absolutely going to be one um, that is going to be utilized very heavily, kind of similar to what we did last season, right? Yes, uh, you know, Aaron Jones uh, it may be looked at, and probably rightfully so, the best running back in the division. The fact that he's a dual threat, that he uh, can be used in pass protection as well, you cannot overlook that at all, right? And so when you brought, when you factor in A.J. Dillon as well as a power back and what he can do there, big body can just absolutely bruise down the, down the line for the Green Bay Packers. You do not want to overlook that. While he's not quite the power back that David Montgomery is, who still is in the division, who we're going to talk about soon, he's still somebody who packs a punch and you do not want to overlook at all by any stretch of the imagination. And so... You know, that's definitely one that you want to look at as well. You cannot overlook. And Patrick Taylor as well um, there. You, you know, we'll see what he ends up bringing for sure, but you don't want to overlook him because he is still extremely talented himself. Next up, the Detroit Lions, where our old faithful David Montgomery went and left the Chicago Bears to go there. You had him to get to Gibbs and Craig Reynolds. You have an extremely solid attack as well. Um, the Lions spent money on their running back room this season. When you look at the draft, the draft, uh, pick that they spent, as well as the money they spent in the division, you cannot, you cannot overlook that. The the to Chicago Bears, we added both Foreman and uh, Roshan Johnson, um, knowing that we needed to, to, we needed to replace David Montgomery. We needed two swings of that to hopefully get a player that's going to eventually uh, replace David Montgomery in the short and the long term. And then you cannot look the, the acquisition of Gibbs either, twelfth overall in the draft, and he has. An absolute shot to be one of, if not the best, back in the division when it's all said and done. Yes, there are going to be questions around how the role of each one of these running backs with the Detroit Lions shakes out, but you cannot overlook the fact that they are going to have an extremely dynamic running game themselves coming into next season. And then, of course, 
the Minnesota Vikings with Alexander Madison, Ty Chandler, Dwayne McBride, uh, all down there. You don't want to overlook them. Yes, they moved on from Dalvin Cook, and they're going to have their own lo- learning and growing pains when it comes to that. They saved ton of, tons of money um, by, by moving on from Cook, and it makes sense. But listen, uh, Alexander Madison is absolutely somebody who you can look at playing pretty damn well, right? Getting a career high in carries at 134. Um, and so with that being said, it easily you this is probably the weakest or the, the the running back room that has the most questions in the division so i'm going to put them at last but do not overlook the potential of them having an amazing running game down there as well but again i put them at last in the division so when you look at kind of how you rank it out now that we set that stage a little bit where does everyone rank i'm going to put just by the nature of having the best back in the division in aaron jones i gotta put the green bay packers number one person right and i hate to do that you guys know I'm a true Bears fan. I hate the Green Bay Packers with every fiber of my being. But I still have to be objective as I can in ranking that 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 running back room, probably number one, by the nature of Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon alone, right? Now we'll see. And they're going to be heavily relied on as well as Jordan Love, you know, gets acclimated to the game. By the way, we still need to put Jordan Love on his ass when we play the Green Bay Packers in week one, but that's just a personal thing. Um, so I'm putting them at number one right now. Number two, this may be the homer in me, um, but I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the Chicago Bears there. When you look at the amount of potential in Roshan Johnson, we'll see how that ends up shaking out, how it's used during the NFL season. But when you look at Khalil Herbert and Dante Foreman, Dante Foreman, a player that's coming in motivated, he's already said he kind of wants that running back number one position. But when you look at how he can be utilized in pass protection, the running game, and the passing game. I think while it's, I'm, not, I'm not expecting him to come in and perform the same way David Montgomery did, but I, I like the way that he's he projects to be able to bring a lot of that same skill set. Khalil Herbert, we already know what he can bring as a member of a two-headed monster in that running back room. But I think when you factor in Roshan Johnson and the projection there, right, the fact that he's a former quarterback, how he's able to read defenses, I think they're going to get creative and even line him up at fullback some to get him and either Dante Foreman or Khalil Herbert out there at the same time how he's going to be able to be utilized in the passing game, in pass protection. I like our, our running back room a lot, and I'm not willing to put it over the Green Bay Packers and being fair right now, but I do think this running back room is going to be at least, at minimum, second in the division and may still end up being first by the nature of production, right? So that's why I rank the Green Bay Packers. That brings in the Detroit Lions at number three, but that does not mean as a slight at all, right? I just... I, I look at what they've done and the fact that, yes, they drafted Gibbs 12th overall. They have David Montgomery down there. But I look at that and say, is this a team that is truly committed to the future of David Montgomery being the running back? And even, even so, Monty's already used to, used to being uh, part of a two-headed monster. But I, I just, I don't quite, I, I trust David Montgomery. And I know what David Montgomery can be, right? And I know what the De- how good the Detroit Lions can be as well. As much as I am a Bears fan, I still have to admit the Detroit Lions are a team to watch out for in the division. But I'm going to put our, our team above them right now as far as that running back room because I just have that much faith in what our running back room can be. And also you look at Luke Getze as a running play caller. He's already shown it. He got it, right? We just need to have the question is, is that passing game going to be a bigger part of it? And then how does the running game still factor in and be a big weapon for the Chicago Bears? And then, like I said, at last, at that number four spot, I'm putting the Minnesota Vikings and their running attack there. But let me know what you guys think. Where do you rank the Bears running game and that running back room in the division? Do you have the Bears number one? Do you have them further down the list than I do? Make sure you guys uh, lo- uh, sign in. Oh, sorry. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on the on the YouTube side to make sure you guys continue to follow the page. You can follow us at Shy Bear Central on every social media platform. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Bear Central gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for the show, you can do so 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. And like I like to end every episode, Shy Town Up, Bear Down. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break Media.